So a lot of people think that as a skateboarder, all you need is a skateboard. And while this is true, there are actually many little things that don't cost very much that can greatly help you as a skateboarder. So in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 cheap and sometimes free things that every skateboarder needs. All right, so let's start off with the free things. And at the top of that list, we have Google Photos. If you're a skateboarder and you go out skating, you're most likely stacking clips all day and most of those clips most likely aren't first try. And because of this, you're going to be left with a lot of videos of you falling on your ass. And these attempts take up a lot of storage in your iPhone. Now, you could delete these attempts or transfer them to an external drive, but what if there was an easier way? Well, let me introduce you to Google Photos. Google Photos is an app that lets you store photos and videos on the cloud for free. All you need to do is install the app, have a Google account, leave your phone on overnight, and then all of your photos and videos will be backed up in the morning. And what this means is that you can actually delete your photos and videos off your phone, freeing up your storage, and they're still available to you. I promise this will help you because before I knew about this app, my storage was always full and I had to keep deleting photos and videos to free up space. And these days, I never get close to filling up my iPhone storage. Now, the only downside to this app is that Google will compress your photos and videos by the tiniest amount. I personally can't notice this. My whole progression video was actually made up of downloaded videos and photos from Google Photos. But I do like to be safe, so I save all my best clips to my computer before deleting them off my phone. The second free thing that every skateboarder needs is Google Earth. Have you ever been street skating all day looking for spots and then you reach the end of the day and you realize you didn't get any good clips because you didn't find any good spots? Now, this is why finding and planning spots before going street skating can greatly influence how productive a day in the streets is. And one of my favorite tools to do that is through Google Earth. You've all probably heard of Google Earth before, the app that lets you travel around the world and see detailed views of different places, but what if you could use it for street skating? Makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, you can pretty much navigate through your entire area looking for places to skate and never leave your home. And when you find a spot, Google Earth will tell you the address of that spot on the top of the screen so that you'll be able to know where to go when you're street skating. And you don't have to use this tool to find spots from scratch. Maybe you just want to double check that a spot is actually there. Or maybe someone told you the basic area of where a spot is, but not the exact location. By using Google Earth, you can float around that area and then find the exact location of the spot you're looking for. Now, the third free thing that every Every skateboarder needs is an editing software. I believe knowing how to edit is one of the most important skills you can have as a skater because most skate content that's produced these days is video. Maybe you want to make a banger Instagram skate edit or maybe you want to make a skating montage or a street part. All of that requires you to know how to edit. And there are plenty of free editing softwares and tools available. I personally use an advanced software called Premiere Pro because I've been making videos for a while but any free software will work. Just a tip though, make sure that when you're searching for your editing software that it won't produce a watermark on your video. They just look really really ugly and it will ruin the quality of your video. So make sure the software you choose will create clean videos without any watermarks or branding. And I'm not going to go into detail about how to edit good skate videos in this video, but if that is a video you want to see, then make sure to leave that in the comments. Now, number four is to have social media. A social media presence is very important for a skateboarder today because it's how you share your skateboarding with the world. Instagram specifically has become a hub for sharing skateboarding videos with some of the biggest influencers having millions of followers. So if you want people to notice your skateboarding, posting your clips to Instagram is your best bet. And by producing videos that are well filmed and edited, you can greatly increase your chance of people seeing your video. Though you definitely don't have to stop at Instagram. YouTube is a great place for sharing longer form skateboarding content and has the potential for massive growth if you're producing quality content that people want to watch. And another platform I'd recommend using is TikTok. Now you may think this platform's cringy and want nothing to do with it, but the organic reach that it has is insane. The first video I posted to TikTok took like 30 minutes to edit, which is much less than Instagram or YouTube, but it got 73,000 views. Now that's some insane reach that's hard to achieve on any other platform, so I'd definitely recommend using TikTok. Now the fifth thing that every skateboarder should have is a subscription to my channel. So I'll just leave you a few seconds to do that. All right, so now I'm gonna get into the physical items, which do cost money, but are very cheap and very worth having if you're a skateboarder. The sixth thing you need as a skateboarder is a skate tool. Skate tools are probably one of the most versatile and important items in skateboarding. This is something you need if you take skateboarding the slightest bit seriously. Skate tools have two main uses. One, to adjust the looseness slash tightness of your board, and two, to set up your board. Different people have different preferences about how loose or tight they like their trucks. So by experimenting with a skate tool, you can find what works best for you. I personally skate my truck somewhere in the middle, loose enough to carve around a bowl without having to tic-tac, but tight enough that I don't lose control over my tricks. When setting up a board, a skate tool is primarily used to remove the trucks off your board. Though it can also be used to replace your wheels, bearings, and bushings. So it's pretty much a skateboarder's best friend, and you can pick one up from your local skate shop for about 10 bucks, so it's very cheap. 
The seventh thing that every skateboarder needs is skate wax. I will almost always bring around wax when I skate. There's nothing worse than going to a good ledge or a good rail and then not being able to skate it because you didn't bring wax. Wax is what helps reduce friction between your board and trucks and the ledge or rail that you're skating, which therefore makes tricks such as nose sides, tail sides, or pretty much any grind or slide much easier. And now wax is especially helpful when you're out in the streets because the spots you're skating most likely haven't been skated that often. Therefore, using wax can be the difference between a spot being skatable or not. Skate wax can also be bought from your local skate shop for under $10. But if you want to save even more money, what I personally do is just buy a box of candlesticks from a convenience store. And in my opinion, they work just as well. The eighth thing that you need as a skateboarder is shugu. Shugu is going to save you a ton of money, probably more than any other item on this list because it doubles the lifespan of your shoes. See, skate shoes can get wrecked pretty quickly because you're constantly sliding your foot up against the rough grip tape. And when your shoes get holes in them, you should probably replace them unless you like getting holes in your socks or feet. So because of that, you want to try and lengthen the lifespan of your shoes before they get holes in them. Luckily, Shugu exists. Shugu pretty much acts as another layer on top of your shoes that will get wrecked before your actual shoes do. All you need to do is apply the Shugu to areas of your shoe that are most prone to tearing. I usually just put it on the side of my shoes for ollies and then a bit further up for kickflips. Then all you need to do is smooth the Shugu out with some ice and then leave it overnight to dry. Shugu will set you back around $15 to $20, which is very worth in my opinion, considering that shoes are about $100 and it doubles the life of them. Now the ninth thing you need is a very simple one that most people overlook and that's spare shoelaces. Carrying spare shoelaces around can be very beneficial to a skateboarder because shoelaces are very prone to tearing. And if you're out skating and your shoelaces tear and you don't have a replacement, well, you're stuffed. And then that means the session is ruined. This is because your shoes will get very loose and then start to fall off after every trick. A spare set of shoelaces is an extremely light item that you can just chuck in your bag and it's very cheap as well. You can pick up a spare set of shoelaces for under $10. But if you don't want to spend money on new shoelaces, which is fair enough, just use the shoelaces from your old shoes. If every time you go through a new set of shoes, you just keep the shoelaces, then you shouldn't have to worry about buying any spares. And some other things you can do to help lengthen your shoelaces lifespan is to shoe your shoelaces or use cable ties. Cable ties work very well because obviously they're a lot tougher than shoelaces. Just the problem is if you want to use them, you have to have your shoes quite loose. So because of that, I don't personally use them, but it can definitely be a good solution for people who like their shoes slightly loose. And now the 10th and last thing, I have for you that every skateboarder needs is duct tape. Now this one might seem slightly random, but carrying a roll of duct tape around has helped me on numerous occasions. If you're out skating and your shoes get holes in them, then putting some duct tape on your shoes can temporarily fix that. And then when you're at home, you can put some more duct tape on them and reapply your shoe goo. This will help your shoes last an extra few days or even weeks. I've even used duct tape to fix up some holes in my pants, so it's very versatile. And since they're generally under $5, it's a worthwhile part of your skate bag. Now if you found this video helpful, I've created a short playlist showcasing my best skateboarding advice just like this one. So make sure to click on that now and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.